All right, what is going on guys? Hope you're all doing well. So today we have a bit of a multi-species challenge. I've been challenged by Simone Gibson um, to do a pike, perch and trout challenge, all in one session. Um, five hour time limit and yeah, there's minimum sizes, 30 centimeter trout, 20 centimeter perch and 60 centimeter pike. So yeah, obviously Simon always picks these challenges at the worst time of year where the rivers are closed and the canals are not fishing great or anything. So yeah, it's gonna be hard. Come out first to the Trout River. Uh, I'm actually a bit later than I wanted to be because I slept in. But uh, yeah, we're here now. Come to the Trout place first because it's like an hour from where I live. And I didn't want to do like, yeah, I don't know. I thought it'd be easier to get the trout out first. Um, I think perch will be hard because they've just spawned. But yeah, we'll see what happens. It should be fun. Um, like I say, five hours, so it is half past eight, if that'll focus. Half eight, so we've got to half one, um, I think, if my math's right, maybe. Half one. So, yeah, we're going to try and get a trout really quick. I've just drove like 50 miles to this place. So, yeah, catch one fish and then go straight to somewhere else. will be a bit, feel a bit weird. But, yeah, we're, we're going to try and get a trout straight away. And then, yeah, go to a canal or something, get a pike, get a perch. Looks like it's going to rain. Might be difficult. Might catch them all. That's the plan. We'll see what happens. Uh, <laughs> yeah, nice to have a little bit of a challenge though. Give a bit of uh, bit of structure to do. So yeah, we're gonna get fishing now. We're already tied up. We've got the finesse billet crawler on, and uh, yeah, see what we can catch. Right, guys. So it's half eight. Hopefully, I can get a trout caught within an hour, um, and then we can spend more time on the perch and pike because I think they are gonna be harder today. Um, we'll see what happens though. <laughs> like. It's at least a 40 minute drive to wherever I go for pike and perch anyway, so yeah, it's gonna take a while, that did not go well. Why did the line not come off? But yeah, we're starting off on the river, trying to catch some trout. Oh my God, the line's not coming off the reel very well, but hopefully once we've had a few casts, it'll get better. But yeah, we'll try to get a trout first. I've not fished this spot that, well, get this year, I only fished it twice last year. Usually there are a few fish around though. Uh, it does get hammered. There's loads of like sweet corn packets and stuff around, but that's not really from people trout fishing, that's people fishing for other stuff. Well, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens here. Oh, there was one right on it then when it was sat on the bottom. <laughs> no way. It was sat on the bottom, there was a trout looking at it. I was trying to get a wind out. I just saw it dart away when I moved it. So if it'll come back. I think to make things a lot easier, <laughs> we're gonna switch to a spinner. It's kind of a cop out using a spinner, but yeah, it's a lot easier to catch trout. So I think we're gonna do that. Just with it being a challenge and I don't wanna spend all day trying to catch trout. Especially seeing as I've only I've not really got any normal hooks, I've only got the weedless ones and yeah, the hook up rate is going to be terrible. Okay, gold spinner. With it being a competition, normally I'd stick with, you know, the soft bait or a hard bait or something, but yeah, with it being a competition, I fish the easiest way possible to catch a trout. There's one, there's one, yes. I don't think it's a 30, but it's a fish at least. There we go. That might be a 30 actually. Took a while that though. Right, baby. No, that's not a 30. Well, that's like a 20. I'll measure it anyway just to see, but first trout in the net. Let's go. I wasn't really expecting one there as well, but hey, I'll take it. Let's see. Um, nine o'clock. So yeah, half an hour to get the first fish. I kind of want one over 30 by 10 at least. So I'll give it another hour. Let's get a length, get the hook out, and get it back. 25. Okay, so we don't need one that much bigger. That's 25. Let's see, buddy. <laughs> well, I've just caught one. So, yeah, a little bit bigger than that one for the next trout, hopefully. Um, I'm surprised that went 25 actually. I thought it was way smaller. So we don't need one that big at all, to be fair. Okay guys, 10 to 10. I've only had that one trout, absolutely terrible. 
can't really spend that much more time trying to catch them. It's obviously like a 40 minute drive to get perch and pike and they're going to be difficult as it is. So yeah, we're going to do 10 more minutes and then yeah after that we're just going to have to settle with the 25 centimeter one but obviously it's slightly undersized but don't have the time it's just you know one of them things but i can't a 25 centimeter trout anyway be right right guys it is three minutes past 11 so yeah halfway through the challenge just over an hour from the river the road was short so i had to take a massive detour to get to the canal but we're at a canal now we try for perch first hopefully we can get a 20 centimeter one pretty quick um but yeah we'll see see what the water car is like ah oh, visibility is not too bad okay we should catch a pike at least i don't know what the perch will be like today but i think we will get a pike so we're gonna try for perch to start with and then yeah get a pike rod and Go catch a pike, hopefully, anyway. Uh, I mean, I know there's some around. I know I've got the drunk dancers, which I know that I really like right now. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. That's a fish. That's a fish. Oh, it's a pike. It's a pike. No. It's undersized as well. Like, a bit. <laughs> I'd be happy if it was a... Uh, Bigger pike, but come here, baby. Oh, I thought that was gonna be my perch then. He has choked that bait though, geez. Um, but he is slightly undersized for the challenge. I'm not even gonna measure it. Apparently it needs to be 60 centimeters, but we've got the species, so you know, we're definitely I think we'll definitely get that species target. Absolutely nailed that bait. Um so yeah, well, they might all be undersized though. That seems to be like the theme so far. Bomb that hook out of him. Boom. I was like second cast with the electric chicken anyway, so at least I know they can see the bait. Um, yeah, cute little pike. See Brezif. <laughs> yeah, I didn't feel like a perch. Well, it felt like a really big perch actually when it hit. Um, obviously not though. That'd have been, <laughs> that was probably like a 30 centimetre pike that. Would have been nice if it was a perch. Oh, perch. Perch just bit his head, but didn't take the bait in. Okay, that was a quite a small one, but it was a perch. It just it just literally <laughs> grabbed the jig head, but not the actual lure. So, hmm, I might downsize. Okay, finesse fillet craw, four centimeter. Down, nice downsize, should get this in the mouth. Oh, that was a good bite. That was a really good bite that I just uh, completely missed then. First cast down this wall. Yeah, that was a solid hit. First solid perch hit I've had. Proper knocked in then. Proper knocked into it then. Yeah, I might, um, might go for pike. The canals just started pushing through as well, which is not easy for perch. And it looks like there's a massive barge coming as well. Oh no, it's just a normal badge, never mind. Normal badges are alright. Yeah, I think I'm gonna switch um switch to the pike rod. <sighs> okay guys, just switched to my slightly heavier rod. Um 721 gram. Got the drunk dance run because I know the pike in here. I really like it. So yeah, we're gonna whiz this section here. Um just troll mainly. Usually can pick them up that way, 50 cast here and there. And um, yeah, try to get a pike ticked off, and then we'll just switch leaders, switch to something smaller, and uh, yeah, hopefully get a perch. Can cast like this is like 30 grams, can cast this no problem, and then down to you know four or five grams, no problem as well. So, yeah, pretty versatile little setup. This for it saves me carrying two rods around. All oh, right, I'm gonna have to super downsize here to get this perch, little grub. I forgot what these are actually called, but yeah, little grub. We're going with it. Put that in my pocket. <laughs> if I don't catch a tiny perch on this, there's something definitely wrong today. Well, I mean, there is something definitely wrong anyway. They're, they're just not feeding, but 
yeah, this should catch. The little ones that don't take anything else. We'll see anyway. At least I know like at that other bridge there is definitely a perch down there so I can always run back there and get one. Oh, that's a fish. That's a fish. Yes. Oh, it's bream. <laughs> that's a bream. Or is it a perch? I'll call that a big perch. Okay. That's, uh, yeah, that's definitely a perch, not a bream. Okay, let's get this um, perch back in the water. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, there it goes. Got a bit stuck in the uh, reeds then. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna bomb up to bomb up to the um, next bridge though, where I can actually hopefully find some perch that will feed. Everything seems to have switched off right now, but try our best. That's all we can do. Oh yes! No way. Just dibbling it down in the edge and this roach absolutely just died out and nailed it. Absolute, look at the size of that lip hooked. No way, that was cool. That was cool. And that was genuinely a tackle that as well. How did that get hooked? I have no idea, but that was awesome. Just, just knew there was a bunch of bait right here. Um, so I was just twitching it and yeah, the tiny one came out. Right, back in the spot where I missed like five bites off perch. Um, which we've got about five minutes to fish now as well because I got distracted by Zibrim. But yeah, well, I feel like I should get one pretty quick, even if it's just tiny. We'll see. I just want one tiny perch. That's all I want today. <laughs> one tiny perch, I'll be happy. Even though it's been an absolute grind of a day. We're out of time. Can't believe that. I've not even caught one tiny perch today. <laughs> like five, well, four hours of fishing, one hour of driving, one trout, one pike, two bream, one roach. Absolute grind. I did have, a, I've had a few bites off perch, but yeah, not many. It's been really, really tough today. So I obviously failed the challenge, seeing as every fish was undersized as well. So yeah, cheers Simon for that. It's, could have picked a better time of year, mate. Well, that was difficult. One trout, one pike, both undersized, two bream and one roach. We had like five bites off perch, but yeah, five hours. And that's all we get. Like normally I wouldn't put a fit video like this. I'd just scrap it. You don't normally see these sessions, but Simon made me promise I'd keep it real and you know, put the first session out. So yeah, cheers mate, complete fail. Um, <laughs> worst session I've had in a long time that. But yeah, it's the way it goes sometimes, you know, we can't always have banging sessions. Um, yeah, drove 100 miles, caught a trout, one pike, and yeah, a few bits and bats. So yeah, not too happy with that, but yeah, I'd say it was a fun session, but it wasn't. It was kind of miserable, to be fair. Um, my face has gone out of focus. There we go. Um, yeah, so... That's that video. Hope you guys enjoy it anyway, even though there's not much fish action. You know, it's better than uh, better than no video, I suppose. So, yeah, keep it real in this one. Not always a good session. You guys remember that? I don't always go out and catch decent fish. Sometimes I go out and just catch tiny ones. Uh, but yeah, that was good. It was, it was all right. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. Stuff I've been using will be linked in the description. And I'll catch you guys next time.